Developing tonight, a man face down and handcuffed on the steps of the Jefferson County Courthouse. This image captures the moment Brandon Miller was taken down after a sheriff's deputy stopped his escape attempt. Now, prosecutors from the district attorney's office were the ones looking out of their windows, watching this unfold, just stunned at what they were witnessing. This all happened during a hearing. 31 year old Brandon Miller, who had been out on bond following five charges, appeared today in front of Judge John Stevens. Yeah, and he didn't like what the judge had to say, and that's what left him running for the door. Here's a new mugshot taken after his jump. You can see he has visible injuries from that fall. 12 News reporter James Grant joins us live outside the courthouse to share what led to the chaos. James. Letitia Jordan, this is really the talk of the town tonight. It all played out like a scene from a movie. And those who witnessed Miller's attempted escape say it's something they won't soon forget. This is the image that's burned into Jackie Torres's mind. It's still processing in my head. Like, did I really just see that? Did, you know, I'm glad I didn't see when they took him, though, because I heard he was pretty beat up. Torres says she heard a loud commotion right above her office and ran out to see what was happening when suddenly. And it just like happened like that. And I just saw a body just drop. And so it was it was very loud. It was a hard drop. She would later find that man was 31 year old Brandon Miller of Beaumont running away from the law. He was determined to get away and jumped over a second floor balcony falling 12 feet to the ground. Attorney Ryan Gertz was trying to case in the courtroom next door when he says he heard the commotion. One of my close friends is actually trying in that court uh, an evading arrest case. And so that seemed on foot and I was kind of like, well, I wonder you know, so I was concerned really for, for my friend and his safety and the, and the court uh, you know, staff safety. Gertz says they actually had to stop his trial for about 15 minutes to let the shock wear off. Miller's status hearing was streaming on YouTube. 12 News can't show that video, but I watched it. This is what it shows. Judge John Stevens says you can't even follow the rules of decorum. You interrupt the court when I am trying to speak. You are taken into custody. A woman can be heard screaming, Brandon, 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 no, please don't run. And Miller quietly says, I am not going back to jail. And you can hear him running. Miller had been out on bond for five charges, including drug charges and also evading arrest. And we've also learned tonight, Judge Stevens revoked all of Miller's bonds. And he also still faces additional charges in addition to his previous charges. Live outside the Jefferson County Courthouse, James Grant, 12 News.